Immigration is a federal law that needs to be enforced. It needs to be enforced by the federal agents and law enforcement, FBI, the Immigration Service. Uh, <clears throat> first off, we need to do that. Enforce the law, which means closing the borders to the people who are walking across uh, illegally. What the governor has done is started a program and has sent, I think, about 60 people through, and there needs to be more, the training of the immigration laws so that it can be enforced through our highway patrol. I feel that needs to be expanded in the sheriff's year uh, and uh, may not like this, <laughs> but it needs to be expanded to train all sheriff's deputies so that they can be trained to enforce the immigration laws. It needs to be handled through the city police. And one of the things that I feel is so important to that, and I've repeated this many times, I saw a program on TV a few days ago where the, there was primarily illegal people had been in the hands of law, there was outstanding warrants for their arrest, but yet it was not checked through the National Crime uh, Data Bank to check on those outstanding warrants. They were turned loose and subsequently approximately a dozen people had been killed at the hands of those who were in the hands of the law but turned loose. So to summarize it, enforce the law. When you've got someone that's violating the law, the greater probability is they violated other laws. They need to be held and prosecuted for their offenses. It's a pleasure to have Sheriff Tyler Roden here today, and I believe if you'll ask Sheriff Roden, I dare say I've probably been the only candidate that came to him, and actually we sat down for a while and we discussed the illegal immigration problem. Law enforcement is one thing you can do. But what you're going to have to do is have a strong legislature and a strong governor that's willing to approach the President of the United States and say, listen, President, if we're going to have to do your work at the state level, get your monies down to us to do it with. Now, what else can we do? We have to, make, we have to stop making it, a, for lack of better words, a profit to have illegals here. We all know that they're a very vital part of many of the, the agricultural businesses. However, at the same time, you have employers that are willing to take these people on, knowing, one, that they are illegal. Two, they have no idea of knowing whether or not if they have diseases that will contaminate the rest of our population. So I think we need to look very strongly at putting some of the burden on the employers because if they are not going to adhere to the laws of the land, then they need to help pay for what is being caused by those people that they hire. To me, it's a very simple process. They cannot have it both ways. They cannot pay lower wages and at the same time allow that illegal to stay here at a profit, which most of that money gets sent back across the border. Now, a lot of people might argue uh, about the benefits. Yes, we do need to cut back on benefits. Personally, I do not believe they're entitled to one red cent of Alabama's money, nor the federal money. Some people argue, well, if you do that, you're going to end up in court. A lot of people have challenged a lot of laws through the decades and through the history of this nation because you have it uh, sometime in your life folks you have to stand up for what's right and somewhere along the way people are going to realize what's right mr floyd touched on this immigration naturalization the process of becoming a citizen it's all a creature of the federal law and as with we talked about ethics and government a little bit ago and I use the phrase, a lack of political will. That's what you have in Washington right now. There's a debate raging. Do we enforce it? Do we not? You have both sides pandering to a growing block of prospective voters. And politicians know you cater to a, you cater to a block of voters, you secure that vote, that means you get, you get to retain power, you get to grow your power. Folks, this isn't what's right for our country. It's not right for what, it's not, right for this state. The problem starts in Washington as far as enforcing the laws that are already on the books. Now Alabama can take an approach like 30 some odd states did in this past year in either 
attempting to pass or passing immigration reforms at the state level. The vast majority of those dealt with denying public benefits and public assistance to illegals or to people unless they could prove A, they're a citizen, or B, that they have some documentation. That's all well and good. We've touched on the fact that these folks are coming in and we're seeing a rise in TB and hepatitis and, and, and diseases um, that we are not used to facing, that we as a, an advanced and industrialized country have done away with. A vast problem I see with that is if you deny them the right to health care, you have ticking time bombs walking out there. So to me, it all starts with Washington. The, 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 what we've done with our state troopers as far as enforcing those immigration laws, that's wonderful, but that's like putting your finger in a leaky dam. It's not going to work. It's not going to work long term. The long term solution comes from Washington. Yes, as everyone's touched on, it is a federal issue because it's a state problem, and that's as a legislator, I would uh, step up with the governor and all the other legislators and approach the federal government about issuing or addressing this problem. We've got to, like I say, if they're not going to enforce the law, give us the money and we'll pass legislation that will be enforceable. And one idea on that is issuing photo ID to these folks just like our driver's license and if they've not got their green cards and all, they can't get that and they're denied any type of service. So I think that would be one sensible way about addressing it and keeping track of them. But like I say, it all evolves back to the federal government. We need just to apply the pressure to them to enforce the laws that's on the books. Thank you.